question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Los Angeles Rams and the Detroit Lions, and it comes your way next. Coming to you from the venue that hosted the Super Bowl back in February of 06. Welcome to Ford Field in downtown Detroit. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good run tap here. As you to the Los Angeles Rams taking on the Detroit Lions. Brandon gone to alongside Charles Davis. And before kickoff, Charles, quickly your keys to the game. Well, partner, I can give you the standard ones. Turnover, special teams play. But here's one that doesn't get talked about much anymore, and that's time of possession. Whoever controls the football gives their defense a break and takes care of business, that's the team that's going to win this ball game. Inside the 
those inside linebackers, they will just run in here. Now he dumps this off over the middle. And he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. And yeah, they're getting him the ball. Chopping at the bit just to get the football. Brett Maher on for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and the Rams take a 7 0 lead. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told. And the result for the Rams a touchdown. time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. And he returns this to the 22. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. And they're brought out by a former number one overall pick coming off one of his best seasons ever in year seven of his career, now in year eight, Jared Goff. And at one point, the ascension of Jared Goff was really, really strong. Back-to-back -back Pro Bowls, took his team to the Super Bowl, and came really within one quarter of winning it. But since that time, he's had a bout of inconsistency. And that's been the struggle for him as he tries to get back to the form he showed earlier in his career. And get the tackle to Quentin Lake. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference. 
difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome, everyone, to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. This has been a hard-fought battle thus far. Just the one touchdown to this point is still anybody's game at 7 to nothing. as both of these defenses have been out there trying to one-up one another. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Just the one touchdown in that first half. 7 nothing. our score as we get going in quarter number three. Taken at the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half. Close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. The goblet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Yeah, that's good for a game of six. And it's second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. On second down, Montgomery. And he's able to take this one up to the 35 yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. I have to think a major focus in the halftime. Meeks had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to be a half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try to chip someone at the second level. And this defense not giving them anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Ball on the 36 now. Here's second and nine. Now gone. And that one's going to come up a little short. It's incomplete. Just when they need a lecture from May, but some far offense is going to help get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the train with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave them trying to convert on third and nine. Gone. and now a chance that they could be an even a bigger hole if they can convert this into points. Yeah, but how good do you feel if you're that defensive coordinator right now? Because you just know that the head coach looked at him and said, turn him loose, big man, and he'd be able to take a few extra chances playing with this type of a lead, and boy, it paid off. After the interception, here's Stafford. That's to the sideline and incomplete. That tremendous field position that they were given following the turnover, but they've still got work to do to get the field goal range, and the coverage we're seeing isn't going to make it easy. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Stafford. Stanford. And the Lions 
Second and ten now. territory at this point, but a critical third down here. Now it's gone.
this offense still has the one timeout here, remember. First and ten. He'll look to throw. This is first and ten. He's back to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Similar to a shooter in basketball who just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now, we have a guy who made the catch. They try to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. Here's second down. They'll look to throw.